As the Orthodox Christmas was starting with a vigil in the Basilica of the Nativity, Catholics celebrated the Epiphany of the Lord next door in the Church of St. Catherine. Epiphania, a word of Greek origin meaning manifestation. In the liturgy of the Catholic Church, Epiphany recalls the visit of the Magi to the infant Jesus. Guided by the star, they brought gifts to the Divine Child and worshipped him. Today's liturgy is very rich in content. From the first reading from the book of Isaiah to the Gospel, it speaks of an essential aspect of the Christian faith, which is the revelation of Christ to all nations, represented by the Magi, fulfilling the promise that God made to Abraham in the beginning to make him the father of all the families of the earth. This promise has come true in Jesus. The announcement leaves the boundaries of Bethlehem and goes out into the entire world. The three kings of the East represent the pagan religions, meaning that the salvation brought by Christ was not given just to a privileged group, but to all mankind. The Custos of the Holy Land presided over the Mass in the morning, accompanied by the guardians of the sanctuaries administered by the Franciscans. The church was crowded with pilgrims, religious and members of the local Christian community. Every year we participate in the Mass of the Epiphany because it is very beautiful and we feel a great spiritual peace. It's a delightful event. It was very exciting to participate in the Mass today, a very important event in my life. I advise everyone to come here and celebrate because it's like restoring your life. You become a different person. In the afternoon of the Epiphany, the Franciscans recited the Liturgy of the Hours and then made the traditional procession. The Custos of the Holy Land visited the Grotto of the Manger and, taking the figure of the child Jesus, walked three times around the area of the church, inside and outside. At the end of the procession, myrrh and frankincense was distributed to the faithful. Together with gold, they symbolized the humanity, the divinity and the magnificence of Christ. The day before the Epiphany, a vigil followed the solemn entrance of the Custos of the Holy Land into Bethlehem. It was a moment eagerly awaited by the local people, who welcomed him with a musical accompaniment in Manger Square, performed by a group of scouts. On arriving, Father Pier Battista Pizzaballo was greeted by local religious and political authorities. He crossed the door of humility and was greeted inside the basilica by a representative of the Orthodox Church. As part of the ritual, he then entered the Church of St. Catherine, where the prayer of Vespers took place. The Custos of the Holy Land said, if the message of the Epiphany is that salvation will reach everyone, the Church should become an element of unity. We repeatedly see divisions in the world. Here, in the Middle East, war creates divisions and turns people against each other. We must then be witnesses of unity, which can only be a reality if we look at each other with mercy and forgiveness, since we ourselves feel loved and forgiven by the one God, Father of all. Fatherly love revealed in the Son, a small creature that has reached magnificence in both conditions, human and divine therefore marking a new era for all mankind.